is in that guy now, Frankie. So what you're actually looking at is we've just stuck the, a picture to our wall, and that's not actually all the room. Gotta be quick because look where we are, and it's sunset. Oh, it's sunset at Uluru. And I'm gonna cry, but something happened this morning. Welcome to the Cartwrights. We're a family of five traveling to the most remote places our beautiful country has to offer in our home on wheels. It's not just any home though. In our humble little opinion, we think it's the coolest house in Australia. You know why? Because we go anywhere in this thing, whether it be the beach or the bush, the outback, the desert, or even the mountain tops. Anywhere we go, you just know you're going to find us somewhere in the thick of it. Our dream since the day my husband and I met has been to touch all corners of this land. And now, to be able to share it with our children makes us pinch ourselves every bloody day. How else do we put it? We love our life and we truly believe we're the luckiest and happiest people on the planet. Sharing this dream of ours, we really wouldn't have thought that so many would be interested. But the support from our community has now prompted us to share more. So, as promised, here's our life. Buckle up and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. I've got to be quick because look where we are and it's sunset. Oh, it's sunset at Uluru. And I'm going to cry, but something happened this morning. I'm going to tell you guys. Um, so. Before we get to the big announcement, we'll take you back to the journey that brought us to the rock, beginning with Kings Canyon. been um, quite a few of these little tracks that just peel off of the main track along the walk of which I'm calling the Grand Canyon <laughs> but it's not obviously we were maybe going to give this one a skip but um my old mate told us as he was going up the stairs and we were about to skip it he said you got to do it it's the best one the best part of the walk so I think you could see there so I have to really concentrate down these stairs I think you could see there what we mean when we say we definitely reckon it's so far been the most beautiful part of the walk. What do you reckon, Evie? Yeah, well, 
I can't really hear because of that helicopter, but <laughs> yeah, I think you said it's the most beautiful part of the walk. And it, yeah, I think so. It definitely has been so far. Wow, I really can't talk and walk, do this walking, so I'll leave you guys right there. <laughs> I would not like to have been the people that built these stairs. Have a look at this. How did they do such the thing? It's like this one finishes and straight away it's the next one. Yeah. Like at the edge of it. Yeah, it's very steep, isn't it? But those concrete, uh, I don't even know what they're called at this point. Slabs. Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't have been fun to lay, to erect. Nice. Glad I'm not that bloke. <sighs> this is really good. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. What had that gone for? on the decline now we're pretty bloody glad it's actually about to be over how long have Sorry. we been walking for now evie do you reckon oh, like two and a half hours maybe wow well, yeah so we took off at about 10 30 this morning and then it's, now it's yeah. two and a half hours from that yeah look oh it's been a tough walk <laughs> for us anyway we um yeah we've really bloody enjoyed it though but like I said, we're pretty glad it's on its way back down now. We can actually see the car park down there. I'll show you. You won't be able to see it, but we'll show you. I actually think down is worse. Yeah, it's hard, so it like huh? it hurts your hips and stuff. Mm, but also this down, we'll show you. This down isn't as steep as our up at the start, was it? No. This is good. This view here, it's still pretty stunning, but not as beautiful as all the other bits we've seen. Keen to get home and get some lunch into us, eh? I know, I'm starving. Hopefully dad's cooked us something. <laughs> it's been great, it's been epic, it's been amazing, it's been beautiful, it's been wonderful, it's been everything. Everything good you can say it's been. All of it. <laughs> After completing the Kings Canyon walk in just under three hours, we took off, headed for Uluru. We drove well into the night and well into the rain. Excited to get our first glimpse of Uluru in the morning. Tell us, where are we going? <laughs> I'm already crying. I'm, I'm, trying to make you I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Mum's crying. Where are we going, Evie? We're going to Uluru. <laughs> Dreams come true, eh, babe? The best part about this whole thing is it's absolutely pouring down. So we're gonna see it rain on the rock. And There's we gonna just be... got up out of bed, didn't we? We just took, we felt the rain and got straight out of bed and just bailed. We we can't miss an opportunity to see the waterfalls on the rock. Not many people get to see it because it doesn't rain much out here. But stop crying, mum. <laughs> <laughs> here it is, look. Oh, here's the sign anyway. You can barely see it, Evie. That is huge! I, don't it. I wonder if the camera can even pick that up. That's gnarly. Oh. I didn't read the pavement signs. What do I have to do here? I was too excited. No. It's huge. No. No. I'm a child. Ask my wife. <laughs> Two adults. See ya. Imagine if we got stuck at all the rules as well. <laughs> Away are we from it? 13 kilometers, I think she said. What? It's still going. Yeah, it goes up into the clouds. It's actually Mount Olympus. <laughs> you can see the waterfalls. With the clouds stuck in it at this yeah. end of it. Who's going slide down there? <laughs> I reckon you'd fall to your death. That'd well, be pretty steep. Be okay. Look at it, man. It's bloody incredible. Absolutely. I did. I don't have words. I just don't. And even if I did, it wouldn't explain it. The size, like the gravity of this thing, is ridiculous.
You see the waterfalls? That one is not going that red. It's the waterfalls. It's on the red thing. That's a rock. That red thing's all around. Tommy. You can see it, mate. Can, can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. We can go for a walk. You want to go for a walk? There's nothing, nothing that would ever be able to explain that. You just, you have to see it to understand it, hey? There is, which is what makes it more beautiful, Ellis. That's a huge waterfall there. Look at that big waterfall. Is that the one you're talking about? We've got to walk it. Even if it is, yeah, we do get soaking wet. We've got to walk it. Oh, that bit's turned into a cave in there. Crazy, mate. Look at this water crossing. Look. Water crossing at all the roof. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> it's like someone's got a knife and gone, whoosh. Oh, wow. Like, what are the chances that it was going to rain? Like, what, the torrential day we've been rain here, well. torrential rain. We're so lucky. What is it, 60 mils of rain, they reckon? And then it's meant to clear up towards the back end of the week, so we'll get to see it sunny and what? Really? Yeah. yeah. Happy? <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm just quietly taking it all in over here. You well, know, you're always the cameraman. Kangaroo! Like kangaroo? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a kangaroo on the sign. Oh, I just got saturated by that car. Oh, I just sprayed you as well. And you got my seat. Can you clean the lens off so everyone can see that? Oh my god, I just got saturated. I went and fully come in on the A. Look at the wheel, look at everything. I got so. I hate all the room. Look at my chair. <laughs> <laughs> is your window down as well? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it coming and all I could do was this. <laughs> it was in your mouth. I did because my mouth was open. But... How does the Uluru water taste? We're not getting it. He can't believe it. Look at him. What is he looking for? <laughs> there it is, buddy. Can you say, can you say Uluru? <laughs> Ellis, can you say Uluru? ourselves on being in dry weather boys. <laughs> Hence the fleno and the cap and the box. <laughs> So high up, it's in the clouds. <laughs> it's so f***ing high up. There's a waterfall coming from the clouds. Can you see that? I promise I won't cry this time. You gonna cuddle? You're not gonna cry this time, babe? I'm not gonna cry this time. I'm not crying, it's just raining on my eyes. It's just pissing down. <laughs> Ellis is still thinking he's a motorbike. I don't care about the rock, do they, babe? They're understanding. They get the concept. Yeah, they do. Uh, have you shown them how red the puddles are? Yeah, red puddles.
wind, rain, millions of years. I get it. No, no, really. I get how this is just one rock. Yeah, make it. No. It's a river, look. Touch. Hey Bab, yes. what are you doing downloading all the photos? Yeah, and this one, look, this is the best photo. Blurry. A blurry <laughs> shit. I'm really getting good at this photography thing. Safe to say we've got no idea what we're doing. Um, hey. Hey. hey! We're just talking to our friends. The kids have had a shower. We're all, we've got all warm again because it's freezing outside. But I will be, we will be forever grateful for what we just witnessed. Yeah. Hey, that was insane. What yeah. about you? Look at it, it's out our window. <laughs> it's like gnarly, it's, it's massive. Like a sore thumb out there. Out Especially out with the waterfalls too, it's gnarly. You can't miss it, it's massive. What a day. Yeah. What an incredible day, I, I've got no words. The kids brought those puddles, but they also knew that we were at the water. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They knew it, didn't they? Alice <laughs> is pretending to be a motorbike. It's very hard to make videos with young children. He's gone. He's gone. He's there there he is. Is. <laughs> what a day, yeah. what a life. Yeah. We're so lucky. We're yeah. so all the good words. Like, who, would have, who would have thought, like in Normalville, in Normal Houseville, um, this sort of torrential six, 60 mil rain is like you're just up for cover and you go inside. Yeah, you don't care. But that has been even more beautiful. Well, we haven't seen it without the rain yet, but like yeah. this has been bloody impressive. To see. Well, in two days' time, it's meant to clear up, so hopefully we get to see a sunrise and a sunset out here. So we're going to see the best of both worlds. Yeah. But like we're just. I'm in awe of it all. We're very, very lucky. We're very great. Enough waffle. Peace. Get in the truck, Mum. Drive us out of this mess. We're going to the Olgas now. Or oh, wait, what is? The, what did the lady call it? What's the Aboriginal name? Had a jututa, jututa. So hold on, they are bigger than the I think they're just more spread out, yeah. Anyways, it's still pissing down.
ready to ride? Yeah. Yeah. That battery's yeah. always flat. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Another day at Uli, this time the, uh, the sun's shining. We've got a bit going on here, don't we? Yeah. Evie's got no gears. Gears don't work, so she's paddling like this. In go, Evie. Gear. Paddle as fast as you can. Go, go, go. <laughs> and mum's toes barely touch the ground. I can't touch. This is going to be a little, little bit scary for me. Yeah, I can't touch, so I need dad to catch me every time I stop. <laughs> and uh, the bike hire place was, was closed because of the weather recently. That's right, I'm going to run 11k. <laughs> I'm going to run the whole lot. I'm not going to stop and you guys are going to have to keep up. We're going to have to keep up with you. I can't keep up in All right, let's go. Start riding. Some help. Oh, assistance. <laughs> He doesn't trust me. You were made up on instead when of mum. When I was doing my practice ride before, Ready? he said, Mum, you're not going to fall off. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. We're ready. We're good. Which way are we going? Back this way. Do you want help too, Bubba? We got it. <laughs> Bye. I just know that I can't ever really stop. Ah, Evie. Ah, ah. We always do things the hard way, apparently. Always. All right. There's Uluru. There's mum. Yeah. There's Sissy. All right, let's get it. Yeah. It's been three minutes. Yeah. Not even at the rock yet. Dad, we're going in the puddle. Yeah, we'll get wet. Oh, you won't. But I will. Woo! Oh, look, it's Saint Daddy's truck. Look. That's the other way. truck. Turn around, turn left. Catch me! Turn left. Oh! I needed you to catch me because I couldn't pedal anymore. I was getting pulled. Come on. Oh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Put it in the gear, you control it, please. Well done. You're going to get bogged, Baba. <laughs> Five hundred meters in. Oh. Watch the puddles. So I was reading about it last night, and thirty-seven people have died doing the rock climb. Yeah. And the last person that died was a Japanese or Chinese man. He was like seventy-six or something. But he really only died because he um, collapsed. I don't actually think it had anything to do with him falling off the rock. Really died climbing the rock, but you think more would die climbing the rock when you look at that. This is where they climbed up. <gasps> Bit of a boo-boo, um, isn't it? Looks like we're all running. Righto, we're continuing on foot due to the fact that everything's so wet, you're not allowed to ride a bike on it. That's alright, seems like we're walking 11k. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna get bogged. Yeah. <laughs> the kids didn't make it. We're heading back to the caravan. Dad? Maybe on our next lap around, we'll get all the way around the rock. 
<laughs> it's nap time. Too bad because we got the whole way around to the bit that's in the sun. Yeah. Anyway, dinner we? which is like the most beautiful bit of time. Yep. We did what we could. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to traveling with young kids. Big kids good. Dad, you started complaining that your legs were sore. No. I could have gone all day. <laughs> you haven't stopped running. You've been running the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I lowered my shoe pressures, so I'm not going to get bogged. Get you! Watch out! Beep beep! Beep beep! Where's my bell? See, he's back at the caravan because I'm done running and I want to have a rest and I like to pretend to you guys that I've run the whole way, which I have. What a life, hey? It's a hard life. I wish I could be asleep while we're going around the rock. <laughs> same, Kyla, same. I'll have a six pack by the time we get back. Yeah. Beer? Yeah. Beer, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Set. Go. <laughs> 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 Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well Did he go mad on you after yeah, pedaling so like fast? Still pedaling and like getting a bit bumpy, and he goes, "Ev." Kid just wants a nap. My time, the sunset gonna go down. That's right, good boy. We're gonna see the sunset over the rock today too. Aren't yeah, we? Mum. Yeah. We're nearly there. <laughs> yeah, we're nearly there. I can see. I can't actually see our truck, but I can see something up there. I'm sucking in the big ones, up. Huh? Yeah, there's the information center. Ready? Or the cultural center. Ready? Ready? Woo! Kid just loves a water crossing, whether it be a puddle <laughs> or whether it be window deep, he just wants water crossings. Oh, there's our truck. Thank God. <laughs> Dad, can you catch me again? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, hold on. Yep, perfect dismount. What do we do with this one? What's with the red cheeks? He can go in better. Just leave him there. Leave, leave it. Where do you want to put him? Are we putting him in the truck and going to the Olgas or what? Yeah. Yeah. Hey boys, can you see the moon? Where's the moon? There. Where? Here. Good boys. There it is up there. Not Just here. Can you touch it? Yeah. You wanna go all the way up there and touch it? Yeah. Look at Sissy, she bought herself a hoodie. She's a ghost, <laughs> she's Casper the Friendly Ghost. Except I'm gray, not white. You look, all, you look all rubbed up next to the rock. <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah. Tell you what, in this small little GoPro camera, in this small little GoPro screen, it looks like a bread bun. <laughs> a bread bun? It's a lot bigger than a bread bun. <laughs> it is a lot bigger than a bread bun. Oh, you've got the double blankie. Two bread buns. Yes. It's at least two bread buns. Yes. Big blankie. Don't you walk on my mat, young lady. I reckon the big chairs are for the adults, Ellis. You're kidding yourself. Look at him. <laughs> you want to go down on the blankie with Sissy? I think I need a pillow. I'm going to fall asleep. Blankie. That's for me and Dad. Dad yeah. and I are sitting up here. See that big blankie there? If that goes in the red dust and then goes back on my bed, 
it won't go in the red dust. You have to keep it up. By the way, you don't do the washing anyway, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> do sometimes. How about... Do what do you find so funny about that, young lady? <laughs> huh? It's so comfy. How cracker is that view, but not that you're looking at it, Evie. No, oh, I'm so comfy. So what you're actually looking at is we've just stuck the, a picture to our wall and that's not actually Uluru. <laughs> and it's sunset. Oh, it's sunset at Uluru. And oh, I'm going to cry, but oh, something happened this morning. I'm going to tell you guys. Um, so dad and I don't ever keep secrets from each other, ever. Not even anything little. Like it's someone's birthday, we can't even keep a secret. Mm -hmm. Flat out, no secrets, right? This morning, a thing happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go tell dad. I'm already crying. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, we'll come out here and we'll tell Dad. He doesn't know. I've kept the secret. I did the test this morning. I'm going to go and tell him. Here we go. Put it in my pocket. Oh my God, I can't even find where we're sitting now. See his, oh, there he is. Okay. There's so many people here now. Oh, the wheel wheel's gone. That wheel that spot. What a sunset, hey? Hi. Hi. Oh, how beautiful. Um, Dad, I've got something for you. For me? <laughs> I'm a bit of a blubbering mess, but I've got something for you. <laughs> Who's the dad? <laughs> huh? You are you dick. <laughs> no way, come here. Is there a boy or girl? I don't know. I couldn't I, I couldn't not cry when I was telling the people at home. So you told them before me? I told them before I told you. I'm sorry. It's alright. Well we're gonna have a baby. Father of four. Another Jesus baby. Christ. In a caravan. Mm, yep. God help us, eh? Yep. I um you know I had a bit of a feeling. Have you been I'm a bit, crying a lot? A little bit moody lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I love so, you. I love you too. We're only like five weeks pregnant, but by the time I you guys see you, it, Ruth, I love you too, Ellis. By the time you guys see it, we'll be well and truly pregnant. So um, <laughs> there's the news, Evie. You're gonna be another big sister. I swear, if it's another boy, <laughs> no, it'll be fine. I do want another sister. Oh God, <laughs> nine months in a caravan. Oh my God. You've spent a year and a half in a caravan with me. What can yeah. an extra nine months be? Yeah, it's, but it's not you Pregnant. that's going to be living in the caravan now. Yeah. Kyla vacates and, and the pregnant moves Kyla <laughs> moves in when we're pregnant. Oh, <laughs> kids. Oh, they're good. I'll be right. I'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I can't deal with myself when I'm pregnant. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll enjoy the sunset. We'll figure out the logistics of us surviving each other for the next nine months in a caravan. Like if we got a quad bunk. We're going to have the baby in the caravan. Yep. What do you mean? Like you've birth in the caravan? Yeah. I'd love to do that. I'll stand one, down one end with the soft, what's it called? A baseball mitt. <laughs> <laughs> and you hit a homer from one end of the caravan to the other. All right. Sounds good. Do you reckon we need a doctor there? I don't know. I reckon we'll need an extended umbilical cord for that to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I reckon I'd back myself at having a baby in the caravan. Boys will have to sleep to sleep tip to toe. Baby will have to sleep in the bottom bunk. Unless we make a little thing for Ellis at the top, on the top bunk. Yeah, right. I could take a Valium and sleep for the next nine months and you could just drive us around while I... I can do that. I can drive that truck. It's very distracting trying to keep up with these kids, by the way. Anyway, okay. let's watch this sunset okay. and snuggle because this is probably the last time you're going to be an agreeable person. Yeah. For nine months. Okay. Help me. I can hear you. No. Oh. You reckon I can take this hat off, yeah? Why is there no more? The sun's not out. Sun's setting. Sunset, sun, sunrise.
we saw Uluru Sunset and I don't know if they can see it out the window now. I'm knackered now. Yeah, I'm knackered. Um, heading, heading back to camp. I'm going to sleep well. Oh. <laughs> so excited, he's choking. <laughs> what about milestones? Oh my god. Wilder walked, at, or he crawled out on Eli Creek, Fraser Island. Yes. He walked at Long Beach, Rome. 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 We didn't go to Rome. Evie caught her first squid at um, Rapid Bay. Rapid Bay. Yeah. Mum cried her eyes out at the <laughs> room. I, I but Ellis. <laughs> what about Ellis? Uh, he first worked in Engadine. Wa yeah. Worked, walked in Engadine. But Ellis. he hasn't hit any major milestones, has Ellis? he? Not on the road. No, Ellis, uh, point your finger out. You need hang more on. milestones, mate. Uh, I think his milestone is going to be riding the motorbike. Riding his bike, motorbike, and toilet training. Toilet training. Toilet training. That's got to happen sometime soon because he's almost a bloody teenager. No. Not just two. Everyone say bye, Rock. Bye, Rock. Bye, Dwayne. See you next year. See you next year, you reckon? Yeah. We're in a pull up camp somewhere just out of uh, Yalara. Fill up before we get there, I reckon. Fill up the petrol, diesel. Fill up both tanks, or depends how expensive the fuel is. But I'll fill up the tanks and we'll head up to Alice, restock in Alice, and then we'll uh, bang it. Off. Yep. Playing it north. We're going to do the, the binge track, but it's getting too cold. We just want to get north. There's a load of rain, so I don't know. We end up tipping something over, I reckon. Tipping the caravan or something. So we're going to... Oh, it's going to say, but I think we're just going to fang it up the highway. Yeah. Oh, really? What? Wow. The chicken track? The chicken track, yeah. <laughs> don't tell Shano. Oh, uh, whatever you do, don't tell Shano. Don't Righto. See you guys. And on that note, this brings us to the end of our first series. Between series, we'll be taking short breaks from our regular vlogs. But don't worry, you'll still be seeing our mugs here every week for some intermediate videos, including our caravan walkthrough. Until series two hits your fair and square in a few weeks' time. Until then... You stay classy, San Diego.